In this video, I'm going to teach you what I call the five meta or five five core blitzing foundational concepts in Madden. These blitzing concepts I'm going to uh, share with you today have been good for as long as I've been playing Madden. One of these concepts is normally meta. Um, now it may shift year to year, but with Madden 24 right around the corner, I wanted to go over this with you guys today. Um, and I also wanted to say that I'm on Madden 23, so I'm not on Madden 24. So um, you know, don't crucify me yet. But uh, uh, I, I I've been listening to a lot of the community talk about Madden 24, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. But one of the things is every year on the defensive side of the ball, the foundation of defense is always what can you blitz out of? That is the first step to finding and developing a defense in Madden. And so um, I'm gonna teach you five different concepts. One of these five concepts, I have probably 99.9% .9 chance that one of these five concepts is going to set the meta for uh, defense in Madden 23. So um, hopefully uh, this video is helpful to you. Uh, real quick, I did wanna also say, that um, we actually have a blitzing ebook that we release every single year in our Patreon, where we show you how to blitz out of every main, every key formation in Madden. So we had one in Madden 22, Madden 23. We will have one for Madden 24. So if you want to get access to that, that also um, by being a Patreon member, you not only get access to like the blitzing ebook, you'll get access to um, the offensive, all the offensive ebooks, all the defensive ebooks, the match ebooks, all of that stuff. Um, and so we're, we're gearing up for a, a great band 24 season. So uh, anyways, if you're not on the Patreon yet, 10 bucks, get you access to everything over there. Okay, so what are the five concepts? So the first one um, is a little bit more difficult to showcase uh, right, right off the top of my head because they've kind of patched it. So I'm going to come back to it. Um, so uh, our first blitzing concept is going to be crossfire blitzing. This was really good in Madden 18. It was actually this play right here. Out of nickel 335 odd, I'm in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. We're also going to shift over to Kansas City uh, if we have time to show you the uh, rest of them. But up across uh, three show two here's your setup for it you're going to spread your line you're going to crash your defensive line to the right you're going to qb contain and then you're going to or i apologize crash your defensive line um, basically to the opposite of this stack right here and then you're going to stand about right here and qb contain so this right here is a is, is essentially what a crossfire blitz is and it's using this looping middle linebacker to essentially cause confusion on the line where you can then come in off of the edge. As you saw right there, it did not come in. I'm not saying that all of these blitzing concepts work in Madden 23, okay? I'm saying that this right here was the best blitz in the game for pretty much two years. Madden 18 and Madden 19, this was a really, really, really good way to play defense because you would get that nice little edge heat off that right edge. And then if they would block a running back, um, what would oftentimes happen with this specific setup is if they block a running back, a lot of times that running back will step up in the middle and then you'll push the pocket just like that. Also, another cool little tip about crossfire, why I love crossfire blitzes, I've always loved these blitzes, is because the quarterback is gonna naturally, think about it, they're gonna step up in the pocket right into your blitzy linebacker that's coming right up the A-gap. So it's a great, um, it's a great pl uh, pressure to really push the pocket um, um, up the A-gaps, basically. Uh, another one, this was really good this year, and it was also really good in Madden um, 20, and it's been really good for as long as I can remember, but really, really specifically good this year. Um, and that was the, uh, what I call contain stacking off of the edge. So that was the nickel 3-3 where you would walk the guys off the edge and contains. The same um, is true here, where we're gonna just simply contain out of dime 146 cover two sink. And what you should see is you'll get this little disengage off of this stacking of the contain. This is a really, really good way to blitz. And there's so many um, different ways to do it. This is also, if you think about it, um, kind of how like 3-3 Cub works. And I'll show that in a minute. But as you can see, I mean, it, it, it again doesn't work in Madden 23 more because they did patch it. There are some ways to get it to work, which I'll show in just a second. Um, when I get into some of the other concepts, but this is also kind of to a degree how this Mike Blitz three works because we're going to contain and then we're also going to overload that a gap with our user. And so you'll see here because we're having a bear front, 
we're getting that that edge rush or that contain. So the next type of pressure is typically done out of nickel over or four three even uh, six one. So I think I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and flip sides here for you guys um, to show these next couple blitzes. So the next couple blitzes, the first one is going to be this double edge pressure concept. The next one is going to be slot corners, and then we're going to talk about the loop blitz. Um, and there's actually two different versions of the loop blitz, which we'll, we'll discuss. So the first one, really important, that's why I picked Kansas City, is because it has 4-3 even 6-1. Uh, so what you want to do with this is basically this is going to utilize these double edge. So we have a six-man front here. So all we have to do, if you think about it, is just distract the center and we should get double edge pressure. So as you can see right there, we just run at the center for a second, go into coverage, and we're able to get double edge pressure. What this forces from an opponent's perspective is now they've got a max protect to pick up a six man pressure. That's essentially what edge pressure, what I would call edge pressure, um, or just basically overloading um, off of the edge, essentially. Um, another way that this manifests is nickel over. Um, the Overstorm Brave meta this year, where you just pinch your defense, you're going to stand about right here. Again, just trying to distract the line, and you see how we're getting these guys coming, these defensive ends coming off the edge. That's the idea. Um, it's essentially a six-man overload. Where really, and, and really this blitz works best if I stand right here, because even if they block the running back, you see that I'm going to be able to come off of both edges. This is also how mid blitz from nickel 245 double A gap was uh, kind of made popular as well. The next blitzing concept is um, slot corners. So this is the current meta in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 23. And it is dollar three two, we're gonna call DB Fire 2. And we're just gonna press, and we're um, you can walk your safeties down for sure, and then you're gonna pass commit. And basically what'll happen is because these defensive ends are slightly outside of the shoulders of the tackle, and because we're gonna suck those guards in because we're gonna run kind of down here at the center, it should create a single or double edge concept. As you can see right here, we get those guys flying in off of the edge. This is slot corner blitzing. Now it works just like this. Um, you can also apply the same concept from like a pinch two out of two, four, five odd. Um, another formation that you can apply this concept out of is like the nickel blitz. The nickel blitz was meta in Madden 17. Um, obviously DB Fire 2 is the meta for Madden 23. It was also meta, I believe, um, towards the end of Madden 22, and it was also meta, I believe, in Madden, uh, not 19, but uh, 17 and 18. So DB Fire 2. The last uh, style of pressure that I wanna show you is the loop. Now there are two ways to loop, really technically three, um, that I wanna go over. So the first one is how you do it out of spinner. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna call spinner on a dollar, and essentially all we're gonna do here is we are going to spread our defensive line. We're going to QB contain, and we're going to we're going to bring this corner in just like this. But because of the blitz angle of the defensive end there, a lot of times what will happen is it will create a loop where that defensive end actually ends up coming free. This was what we also saw. Again, this can kind of merge a little bit to the stacking contain idea. Um, this is what we saw pretty much all year be really good out of nickel three three and dollar this year. Okay, um, but there's also another way that it works, and this comes back to the all the way back to the beginning of Madden 23. Um, what's interesting is Madden 23 has seen at least three, I think four out of the five blitzing meta concepts. Madden 23 has seen uh, be meta at one point. We started the year with the loop, then we went to the nickel over slash four three even, where we utilized edge pressure. Then we went to contain stacking from nickel three three again. Um, and we're from one, four, six, and then we've ended the year with slot corner pressure out of DB fire too. So LB blitz, the way that it was working, um, is you would just pinch your linebackers and you would can contain, but essentially if you just take a look at these blitz angles, it will prove the concept. So when this guy crashes in, we're hoping that he takes the tackle. And then what we're hoping happens is these blitzers from depth will loop around the tackle for the sack. Now right here, it, it didn't work. Obviously they patched this. But I do want to show you um, a, a little bit of a different, there, there's, there's multiple ways to think about this uh, specific concept. So the other way that you can do this 
is you can utilize formations with four down linemen sets, such as Big Nickel. An example would be um, this play here, if I can find it, Mike Strong Safety 3. This is a loop concept, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put this guy here in uh, coverage of some type. So you see, this is kind of what it looks like, and then that's pretty much it. And you're just trying to get this linebacker to loop around the defensive end, okay? That's the basic idea. Um, another cool thing that you can do, it's specific to Big Nickel, I believe, but you could do this where you crash your line down and you pinch your D-line, and then you have that guy coming around, as you can see. Again, they did a lot of work on Madden 23 and a lot of patches to try to patch this out of the game, but it is still one of the five core blitzing concepts in Madden year in and year out. Every single year, these are the blitzing concepts. I'll show you real quick how to cover two here because um, I think you'll be able to see it a little better. So, like, if I did this, you see how that linebacker, you see this animate or this uh, angle? This is essentially what is also kind of a loop, and you'll see it a little bit better right there. He's still not getting all the way around the tackle, unfortunately. This is largely due to the fact that they patched this game, and they really tried to get the loop concept out of the game. But the other little pro tip with the loop is if you put a safety – um, if you put like a safety there, this should help. So if I put a, a secondary player with, with higher, the higher the agility of the player running the loop, typically the better the loop will be. Um, for example, I think the play, it must be this overload three seam, but essentially it's this, and then you're just going to crash them like so. And again, you're just trying to get this guy to go around. I don't think he's going to do it for us because he's not in the in the proper blitz angle. But it, it, that's the idea. Uh, let me show you one other way to do it out of dollar real quick. Because, um, again, these are concepts, and they are, they're in multiple formations typically year over year. So a good concept from dollar would be this edge blitz three or the strong eagle slant. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line, and then we've got that. You see how we got that loop concept. So now – he comes in, brings that guy in, and that guy, you're trying to get that little disengage, just like we just got. That's the idea of a, a traditional loop blitz, is you're trying to get it to, really typically you're trying to get it to happen from a position of depth like that, where he's going to loop through the B-gap or off of the edge, or you're going to create that confusion uh, when they go to swap off as, uh, as, a, as a defense. So that's the idea. You can even do something like this. Um, and again, you see here, we're just trying to get that guy to either loop around. You ideally want him to go around the tackle. But those are the five blitzing concepts. And real quick, just a quick review, and I'm going to give you the Madden that they were really good in. The loop concept, nickel 3-3 double loop was really good in Madden 23. Dine 2-3-6 wheel edge blitz 2 loop was really good towards the end of Madden 22. The crossfire blitzing, that is Madden 18, LB cross 3 show 2, super good. Edge pressure was really decent this year for Madden 23. It was also really good uh, in Madden 17 because of the Nickel Blitz 2. And I think it was also pretty good as well in early parts of Madden uh, 20 and Madden 19. And then um, the slot corner pressure, that's the meta right now. DB Fire 2 or 245 Odd Pinch 2 last year. Really, really solid um, edge or slot corner pressure. And then the last one is stacking the contains. Really good this year and was also really good in Madden 20 where you could stack the contain from the 146 formation and it was almost an unblockable blitz. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I think blitzing is super important. If you want to learn more about this stuff, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player. You can sign up by joining uh, or hit it, clicking the link in the description below.